In this video, I wanna show you how I made this crosscut sled with adjustable stop on a T-track for your table saw. All right, so I'm going to set my table saw fence to 20 inches just to get that main piece cut and broke out so that way I can rip my smaller pieces for the front and the back fences. I'm gonna set my fence to seven inches now. to laminate these two pieces here together. I'm gonna go a little heavy on the glue. I forgot I had this two by four that I built up from my workbench. So I'm going to run this through the joiner to get make sure that this edge is dead flat and I'm gonna use this as my back piece on the sled. All right, now that I have this edge jointed, I know that that's dead flat, I am going to attach this piece here. And since this is the back, we're not worried about this being square to the blade, so we're just gonna go ahead and attach this. sets down just a little bit so that way when I attach it it'll come up a little bit and it won't be right on the ground of the miter slots themselves but I have a couple of washers here I'm gonna set them in here I'm going to set my strip in so it raises it up just a little bit and I hope that this one catches I might have to do this one twice and then I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue on here try not to get it on my table saw and I did Paste wax I put on here because I did that too soon. Doesn't affect it. Press down. So close. So Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pre-drill a little hole right here, drop this screw in, and that will hold it in place so I can flip it over and then attach the screws from the underside. sink our holes and put our screw in here put a little more paste wax on these and this shouldn't be rubbing on anything but we'll put some on there just to be sure So now that we have our front fence all glued up, uh, we're going to clean up one side here on the jointer and then we will cut the other side on the table saw. So I did wipe away the excess glue on one side as much as I could so that way I wasn't running beaded glue through the jointer. I will cut this off at the table saw. Alright, I'm going to set my fence to 6 inches because that's the smallest end on this that I have. So rip it through and then I will have it all square. So I just glued this yesterday and it's cold. I'm going to run my saw with the brake off. So just be careful. So now I'm going to mark, I already did. Just put some pencil marks, X's, whatever you want to remember. This is my jointed side because this is the side that I'm going to want to go flat straight down onto my crosscut sled. So right now I'm going to measure for where I want my T-track to go. Three and a half, bring it to three and a half inches, make a little pencil mark, do the same down here, three and a half inches. 
And then I believe this is about a half inch. So we're gonna go down about a half inch into this. Uh, and I have another little piece of track that I'm gonna put on the end. It's gonna be a little weird. It's gonna be this color and then blue, but it'll be all right. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set my blade to about a half an inch. And then I know that I want my first cut to be three and a half inches from the side that we jointed. So I'm gonna set my fence at three and a half inches. And then we are going to run this through until we have our three quarter inch slot cut. So I got the groove cut here. So now we're going to attach this to the sled. Actually, what I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna set up this piece here so I know where to countersink my holes. So I'm gonna put this here, strike a line. Doesn't need to be perfect just so you have a rough idea of where to put your screw hole. Countersinking. So actually what I'm gonna do here first is I'm going to put one screw in the end here and then this can, is gonna be like my anchoring point so that way I can make the adjustment to square up the fence. All right, so we got that locked in. All right, now we're gonna take our square here, do our best here to make sure that it is square without it moving too much. <clears throat> Lock in a screw right here that's close. Make sure your carbide teeth are out of the way. Looks pretty dead on. All right, I'm just using some inch long wood screws, hoping that these fit just fine. We will find out. All right, and then the last thing that we need to make here, which sorry, this is a little out of order because I thought I filmed this and I did not, um, are these little stops that will slide in the T-track. I'm just using a cut off piece of plywood. This is three quarter inch plywood. We're gonna cut a little dado into it, slide this piece in. And I'm just gonna use a little star bond because it's instant adhesive. All right, lock that in place. And I'll just cut it off, get it about center. And then your T-nut slides right in there. Put your knob on. All right, I have this little <coughs> oak cut off that I cut some miters on. I thought that would be cool. I'm just gonna center it. Got a little pencil line so I know. And I'm just gonna put some tight bond on either side. And then spray. And then that will act as a little safeguard for the blade and also to remind me that that's where it's at.